ready. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Beth's microphone stand. Oh, my God. Right, well, Tipped right, over? Honey's right off the bat. We've got technical <laughs> difficulties. We'll call up ITT Tech. Guys, give us a minute. We're going to call ITT Tech real quick. <laughs> and uh, should we have a team meeting? We're good. Everything's good now. We're okay. Woo! All right. Welcome back to the Viral Podcast, everyone. Thank you for being here. Remember when we had a fire when the candle broke? (laughs) (laughs) And Maggie acted as if the whole house was on fire. Grab the fire extinguisher. Freak out. Maggie, calm down. Well, that's why we have um, these fake, we have fake candles now that don't, there's no wax. It's battery operated. Too gazy. Um. But the thing is, it, they don't smell, so it's whatever. Which is good. Oh, I'd like a little bit of smell, but that's well, okay. spread your legs. <laughs> Y'all don't want that type of smell in this room. It will waft up before it gets over here. 100%. And it actually smells good in here right now. Yeah, what does that smell? I don't I don't know. Huh. Huh. All the snacks. Yeah, we have, dude, we have so many snacks in studio today. We have watermelon, Ritz crackers with little sausages, cheese, Paige is snacking on sun chips. We've got a lot of snacks going on right now. Harvest chips are good, but I will say the, I think, sun-dried tomato are my favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've had those ones? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Big time. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I think we should get straight into a good DM. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell you. What's the DM for the day, honey? So, I have a good one. Now, this is the first, this is not actually a DM. It's a comment. Okay. So whatever. And I had to, I had to, I laughed when I saw this, I screamed. Okay. <clears throat> this person named Ethan commented on one of my most recent fa- Facebook posts and said, I can't stand this fat hoe. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> They've been rude lately. <laughs> I can't stand this fat hoe. Dude, I laugh so hard. Fat hoe. I can't stand this fat hoe. And you're probably all over his feet. I know, which I love. (laughs) Which I love. I thought that was funny. That's all he said? Oh, yeah, that's it. That was quick. I thought he was going to go on. That's all he said. I can't stand this fat hoe. That's fucking funny. Right? Okay, when, okay, this came up. Should I turn on the cellular data or keep trying Wi-Fi? I don't know. That always pops up. Oh, I, I don't know. Just push one. All right. Okay. This person said, I have a question for you. I saw the video where you showed your boyfriend a vaca- on vacation that you took a shit in the toilet and showed him how big it was. I hope you don't think I'm weird for even asking this, but if you have a video or pic of it, I want to see how big of a log you can produce. What? I want to see how big of a log you produce. Oh, yeah. He said log. Log. And then I I said, I'll see what I have in my camera roll. And he said, "Um, thank you for not judging me about the turd question. (laughs) A female friend of mine sent a few turd pics because... She'd tell me how big they were, and I'd not believe her. Let's just say I was wrong. <laughs> then he wrote me again and said, Hey there, queen of long logs. Can't wait to see your next pube video. And then I didn't see it, and then he said, You look for any turd pics yet? He's waiting. He's wa- he's waiting patiently. And you said you were going to look. Did you send him one? I'm still looking. Okay. Well, just next turd you take, just sit, you know. You think for free or upcharge what? Is this on OF? Yeah. I'd say, you know, give him a free one and then say, hey, if you want to see my big, big ones, you got to pay up. Yep. How big of a turd, how big should the first turd be? Normal size, probably. Say, if you want to see me after some Taco Bell, well, that's splatter. Not for (laughs) me. 
Really? It's solid steel? I'm known as Long Logs. You heard him. <laughs> long Logs. <laughs> you heard him. Okay. Maybe start them out with like a four incher. Because hey, so they can get up to 14 inches. Yeah. Solid. All together. She Listen. says, yeah, like she looks at them. Listen, I was literally just telling this to Beth yesterday. I've been taking these apple cider vinegar pills, and they've been cleaning me out. Damn. Queen of long I had to go get the plunger three times. What? Because they were so big and long. (gasps) Damn. Three times. Those apple cider vinegar pills. It's all intact. The shit? Yes. And when you're shitting, it feels little, and then I'll stand up and look at it, and I'm like, oh, my God. How thick? I mean, it's a regular size round, but they're long. The fact that you stand up and look at it. And they twirl and wrap around. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I have to stand up or else my turd's going to fall into my ass cheeks because it starts getting so (laughs) long. I haven't hit that yet. You are known as long logs. Oh, dude. Have you ever ate a dandelion? No, but I I recently ordered some dandelion tea. Good. Your logs will start forming. Okay. Okay. Like the little yellow ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just got to make sure they're not the sprayed ones. Know your yard. Know your yard. Those are some of the healthiest things that you can ever put in your body. Dandelions? They say get rid of them. Those are bad. Those are weeds. No, actually, you should be eating them. People put them in teas. They make um, people um, will fry them, like bread them and fry them to eat. People people make oils out of them. They're very healthy for you. Whoa, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they hide it from you. Yeah, so I just ordered some dandelion tea. So we'll see. I'll I'll let y'all know if I got some big logs. Maybe send You got to look. You have to actually look at it, though, because you don't like to look. Why why would I want to look at shit? Maybe film it, and then we'll tell you updates on it. (laughs) Film it without looking and send it to y'all? You're going to have to look Mm, after the dandelion tea. Oh, God. Okay. Well, back to what we were saying. I'd say, hey, man, first one's a freebie. If you want the big, big logs, you got to pay up. And it sounds like he's willing to pay. He's a nice guy. Yeah. And don't over, you know, a couple bucks. Make enough for a Starbucks, you know? And I've sent free turds to friends, on, and those are unwanted from them. And I'm just sending them, like, I've too bad sent, he's not a family member. I've sent free turds to friends. Yeah, didn't I have to ask you to stop? You sent them to me, and I, I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. handle it. I was like, you got to stop. I ended up sending that clot to Maggie. Mm-hmm. She did. Okay. All right. Okay, great DMs. I think I'm ready for a little... Get trivy, get trivia, uh, get trivy, get trivia, uh, fuck me, get trivy, get trivia. Ooh. I'm excited. To spin that wheel. I'm excited. We haven't. We didn't do trivia last time. It's It's been a minute. It's been a good minute. It's been a while. It's been a while since All right. I have spun the wheel. wheel. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes. Here we go. Good spin, good spin. Movie quotes green. Movie quotes green. Here we go. All righty. Question number one of trivia. I am in a dress. I have gel in my hair. I haven't slept all night. I'm starved and I'm armed. Don't mess with me. Miss Congeniality. That is correct. Dude. Did you get a... The wheel was in the way. Did you get a shot of Paige's face as I answered? Do that again. Miss Congeniality. (laughs) You're going, huh? That's a movie? All right. Here we go. Paige, spin that wheel. Oh. Geography. Somebody sp- said uh, Beth's high ass spelt geography wrong. <laughs> How you spell geography? Oh yeah, no, you, you not- missed the P. Yeah, it's that's fine. funny. It's How'd fine. they see that from? It? We didn't even see it. I was thinking that, like, damn. wow, that's good eyesight. Alrighty, oh, geography. Here we go. Question geography. number two of trivial: What river runs through the Grand Canyon? The Colorado. Ooh, that is correct. 
Guess what? What? I didn't know that. I nearly said the Nile. <laughs> yeah. Not going to lie. Okay. Everybody ready? <clears throat> oh. Conspiracy theories purple. Ooh. Conspiracy theories purple. purple. Right. 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 Question number three of trivia. All right. <clears throat> Here we are. Some people believe... These historical monuments were built by extraterrestrials. Which one is older, Stonehenge or the Great Pyramids? Pyramids. My brain initially wants to say pyramids, but I think you're trying to trick us, so I'm going to go with the uh, Stonehenge. Oh, fuck. Stonehenge is correct. Beth, Beth likes to throw in a, oh, yeah. a Gotti. Oh, she just John <laughs> oh, Gotti'd yeah. me. Yeah. Because, wait, the Stonehenges, were those just the pillar-looking things? Yeah. And where are those at? They're just everywhere. They're in Chile and stuff. I don't stuff, know. Probably. Top of my head. Okay. Okay. Well, something I got to look into to yeah. educate myself. I think we saw them in uh, Mexico. Mm, something else. Something else. Oh, just kidding. And not in Mexico. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oops. Early 2000s. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, question number comedy four films, of I think. trivia. Early 2000s comedy films. Here yeah. we go. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. In the movie Super Troopers, Ooh. which restaurant does Farva like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? Now, that's a quote from the movie. I just turned it into a question. Uh, let's just say the Gump. the um, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company? Yeah. No. Beth, you're going to hate me. I have only seen Super Troopers one time oh in like 2004. Oh, dude, we used to watch yeah. it a lot. And no. I just remember the one part of them just in their car, like shoving the weed everywhere. All right, well, you did not get that one correct. What is it? It's shenanigans. I need to go add that to my list. Yeah, you do. Rewatch. Super Troopers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is All that right. Everybody answer? ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. History purple, history purple. Right, 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 right. All right. Question number five of Trivial. Here we are. <clears throat> what is the worst nuclear disaster the world has ever seen? And um, bonus, oh. what year did it happen? Oh, we're going to say Hiroshima, and then we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a 19, uh, 19 fucking, uh, 1942. I was about to say 1945. Okay, that is incorrect. Which one? It's pages. But the, the... It was not Hiroshima. Oh, shit. What's that other one called? It was in Russia, right? Uh, was it in Japan? No. It was in Russia, but I don't know what it was called. Mm. I'll say it was reactor number four. <sighs> what was it called? Starts with a C. I'm really having a... Um... Chernobyl. What? Chernobyl. Oh, okay, yeah. And it happened in the 60s? It happened in 1986. Uh, we were off. I knew it happened in Russia, but I did not know what it was called or the year. That I thought one, it was earlier than that. That one got me. Yeah, we got got. You got got it. Is it my spin? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take literature for a thousand. Literature, right, right, right. Right, right, right. right. Literature for 1,000. Question number six of Trivial. What famous American author wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer? What's his name? Uh, um, what's that guy's name? Hold on. <clears throat> his name on the tip of my tongue. So pissed. So mad. Dude. What's the first number letter of his? His first name is Mark. Mark, Mark Twain. Twain. Oh. <laughs> Mark Tang on this pussy. Yeah, Mark. Ma- Mark Tang on this pussy. Mark Tang. He's got top tier. What's going on, Riley? Do we have a technical difficulty? You sure? Sneaking around. Because it seems like we have a technical difficulty. Oh, no. Hmm. We do this every time. Okay. All right. Cameras well, are focusing weird or something. That was a wonderful little trivial. I had a great time. Oh, dude, we're getting so smart. We're getting so smart. Since this podcast has launched, I've gotten smarter. Mm-hmm. I bet if we've been get asked the same trivial questions 
again, we still wouldn't know him. You're right. What was that? Damn. Somebody exporting something? That was loud. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to go ahead and announce Rock Fucker of the Week. Bow, 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 bow. Rock Fucker of the Week is Brandy Love. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. Congratulations, honeys. Maggie will reach out to you uh, and get your T-shirt size and address, and we will send you an exclusive piece of viral merch. Thanks for clicking. Thank you for clicking. We love when you guys click. Okay? Clickety clack. All right. Don't talk bad. Now, you guys ready to uh, roll that beautiful bean footage? Hello, and welcome to... The Moo Moo commercials. If you're sitting in your car right now and thinking, damn, I want better sex. Well, then guess what? You are listening to the right podcast because we have something for you. AdamandEve.com is offering 50% off almost any one item plus free shipping. And that includes rush processing. Everybody loves to nut. Paige, do you love nutting? Of course I do. If you love busting nuts, they've got the thing for you. Plugs, clit ticklers, dildos. I mean, I could literally sit here for an hour and go on with all the stuff they've got. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction to your bedroom. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code VIRAL to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing, code VIRAL. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Nervous here, but I had to call because I'm listening to this week's podcast and you guys are talking about hiding a nut. And Chelsea, I know how much of an Elvis fan you are, and it reminded me that I came across a video, um, like a conspiracy that Elvis nut on stage while performing several times. So I wanted to know what you thought about that. Let me know. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not know Elvis was just nutting on stage. I said, bless my soul, what's wrong with me? I'm nutting all over everything. <laughs> Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah, that's a big thing. Um, I haven't heard that he well, nutted all the time, like she said, or several times. But there's a famous story that on the 68 comeback special when he's wearing the... Comeback. Li- <laughs> there ain't no way. Stop. Stop. The 68 come back special he's wearing those leather pants and the leather top and um years later one of the producers one of the guys that was doing the wardrobe or something had came and said that during the performance he came in his pants and before the next the next scene or whatever they had like blow dry they were cleaning it they had blow dryers and all this stuff (laughs) This is not fucking real. Yeah. So they, they, I mean. They found his nut. Without even touching it. Did they know? Were they like, hey, is that nut? Or was Elvis like, hey, I just nutted in these? Honestly, I don't know. I need, I mean, I know the story, but I've never like. Dug into it. Dug into it. We need to dig into this one. Um, It is one I feel like I should dig. But he was yeah. just. Dancing and jiggling and doing all that. And he probably just, you know, rubbed it. And he just nutted. That leather friction. Yeah. Those leather pants are famous. I think I saw them in the, at Graceland. Because across the street from Graceland, they have all that museum. Mm-hmm. And They're they, all crusted and bunched up. They were in there. Dang. Do you think they washed them? I don't know. I don't know. But as sexual as Elvis was on stage, I have no doubt that he nutted. Do you think he's rubbing with his hand on it? What's making him... No, you can nut without touching it. They were just really tight and he's just swinging. Tight and swinging and maybe he just felt, you know, I don't know. But, God, he was so hot in the 68 comeback special. He's the most gorgeous man to ever exist, I think. Yeah. I, I can't what think... does it? 
Ooh, are we doing just physical? Um, everything. The most perfect face, the hair, the voice. Mm-hmm. Not just the singing voice, the speaking voice. The eyeballs. There was nobody else like him. No, and where did he, where did he get that from? Just because to uh, not have anyone like him to exist, and him to just make up every he to have. To have those mannerisms, that voice, that singing voice, those moves. Like, he just created that. That mm-hmm. just was him. With no shares, no revines, no, no retweet nothing. for retweet. No tags. No tags, no clout. No. He was just Elvis. Oh, I love Elvis. I mean, it, if you guys can see right behind me. Here, let me pull it up. Hold on. Keep talking. She has a beautiful yourself. photograph of Elvis with a light included in it. Got this off Etsy, um, and it's it's got a built-in light up top. So when I plug it in, it'll have a light going down on Elvis. I'm gonna hang this up in my um, I'm gonna hang this up in my cabin whenever I move into it. Hopefully, by the time this pod launches, I've moved in already. Hopefully, (sighs) we're gonna we're gonna start moving here pretty soon. Here pretty soon. So that's Elvis. That is him um, in the '70s, and I even think he was hot in the '70s. People are like, oh, he was bloated and fat and old. Uh, motherfucker, he was still fucking hot. You can be bloated, fat, and 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 whatever, and still be hot. Trust me. Look at me. Take it, Tom. Bloated as fuck. And looking good. Thank you. And look at that suit. Oh, his club, dude. When we, oh, I just he is like, mm, mm, mm. but especially in the. My favorite era was the late sixties, the, co- the comeback special era. I'm more digging like Hall and Oates though. They are, they're looking good for you, real. Really, you think Hall and Oates are hot? Well, I guess I just love the voice and they had the a, look. They I had a know. good seventies look. The stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We love Hall and Oates around here. That's what does it for me. But um. No, when we were at Graceland, we saw all his jumpsuits. They were all lined up on the wall. And, I mean, God, they were incredible. They were un, I mean, even in person, I was like, this is like, is this real? And they had receipts from when he had them made. And even back in the 60s and 70s, they were still like 10 grand to make. Damn. Which back then... That was a lot. That's still a, a lot. lot of money. That's a lot of money now. That's mm-hmm. what's the equivalent of ten grand to now? Oh, a lot. Fifty grand or mm-hmm. more? Let me look it up. A good chunk, dude. Okay, ten grand, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars in nineteen. Let's do seventy. It was before that, but let's do seventy. It's worth how much today? <clears throat> Whoa, ten, ten grand in nineteen seventy is the equivalent. To seventy eight thousand dollars today, damn for an outfit. Why I I couldn't do that. So oh, I can't spend that type of. But but you have to think, that was his. He was known for that. That was his business. That was his. He Brand. was known for what he wore. Like this was you know. Oh no! If you yeah. see what I mean, they are. Oh my God! Beautiful. Would he rewear a bunch? He, he or would. No? He did. Okay. Yeah. He did. I'll give him that then. Yeah, he did. Give him that at least. Come on, Paige. <laughs> I'll give him that. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, love Elvis. Big Elvis guy around here. And even better, I had no clue he was just crusting up his pants. He's crusting. Thank you for calling in. If anybody yeah. has any other facts about anything, I say call in. Anything. Could be anything. Mm-hmm. Not even Elvis facts, but if you have a any. fact... Call us. That we need to know about. We yeah. should do like breaking news, like don't, don't, don't for people who call in like that. That would be cool. We need to do that. We'll go mole, mole, mole. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. We love you. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Hey, honeys. Pretty pink pussy here. Damn. Okay. So my question is, um, if the average human lifespan was four years, how would you guys live your life differently? Mm. Love you, ladies. Love the podcast. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right. If the average lifespan was forty years, how would we live? Well, here's the deal. Are we dying at forty, or when we are when we are born, is the average lifespan forty? It says average lifespan four years. Four? No, forty. 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 She said forty. 
four. If, is the average lifespan four years? No, she said if your average lifespan is 40 years, how would you live life? So, like, if I would say, like, if we were all supposed to die at, like, 40 yeah. years old, how would we? God, that's hard to say because you wouldn't know any different. Because back in the olden days, that was, when I mean, people died, like, young. Mm-hmm. With all the diseases and whatnot. And they still just worked and had families and you just lived, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, if I knew I was going to die in five years at 40, I would probably just quit everything, live off the land, chill, have fun, uh, four wheel, go four-wheeling nude, I have a garden. I wish we could all live like that now. I know, I know. You know? Yeah, we're going to. Damn, but like the whole world. Yeah. But we can't. Um, but... Uh, uh, I feel like we should just kind of live every day like it's yeah. your last, honestly, because you really know and never know when you're going to croak. Right. We could just croak right here. Right. But we're not going to, but we could. We could, but we're not going to. Oh, no. Do you ever think where you're going to croak, or does that give you anxiety? <laughs> Dude, it's, fucking, it's a hard one to talk about. I don't even like to think about oh, it. Oh, it makes I, me ill. I like to th I like to think that I'll be, you know, 90 years old in my sleep. So yeah. that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Because I'm going to be punking people when I'm older. I don't even like to talk about it because I don't want to put that energy into the world. Does that make sense? It's so freaky. I don't even like talking about it. Mm -mm, not good vibes. Uh-uh. So let's move on. <sighs> How about that? Oh, yeah. How about that? Also, I want to say something. Sorry, I'm eating a piece of cheese. One second. Go ahead. What you gonna say, boo boo? I had somebody. <laughs> I think the younger generation doesn't know where I got the roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh yeah. Because I had several people here recently. I guess Bush's baked beans has relaunched their commercials. Probably because of this podcast. Yeah. And I had several people be like. Oh, did you see Bush's baked beans stole your roll that beautiful bean footage? And I'm like, oh no, honey. I've been getting <laughs> thousands of DMs about it. Honeys. That's funny. Hey, I don't know if Chelsea's ever heard this before, but I think she either stole the slogan or they stole it from you guys. Bless their hearts. Of course I stole it from Bush's baked beans. I said she's heard it. That's been around for oh since like sixty seven when we were growing up. I mean, that was the most popular. You know, when did they originate? Roll that beautiful bean footage. That's where I got it from. I, although I will say I haven't seen it in years, so they did bring it back. It has been popping up. And but, remember when Gerber Baby did Hey Honey's Gerber Baby or whatever mm -hmm, the hell here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all the marketing people of the big businesses are rock fuckers. I can tell. They're listening to the what? pod. Shaquille O'Neal and all them, I hear them say, do better. Shaquille O'Neal listens to the pod. He freaking plays my falling videos on Shacked and the Fool. Really? And then at the end of his segment, he says, don't take any of this video footage, copyright. I'm like, motherfucker, you're taking all my footage. Hold on. I'm about Hold to on. get he free tickets to the playoffs. Hold on. He has a TV show? Well, he does a little segment called Shacked in the Fool. Is it on TV or on social media? It's on TNT. And they played your video? Yeah, they've played a couple of my and they following videos. No, they're they not haven't contacted? Oh, no reach. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's illegal. Hey, honey's copyright. Hey, honey's calling a lawyer here. <laughs> hey, honey's, I'm calling ITT Tech. No, every time, like, what's that show? Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness plays my videos or something. They have to reach out before and get you to get you to sign something. They'll pay you a little. They pay me like a hundred bucks. Yeah. I don't even do it anymore. Ridiculousness. But. They've paid me pretty well, but not you. Well, when we had that TV show that never came out. Oh yeah, on that one network. On that one network that we can't say that rhymes with plip plip. Plips. We we had we to say that every other episode and say that one thing. <laughs> yeah. We, if they wanted to use a bunch of our social media clips and we had to have like, if you were in the background, if Maggie and Beth are in the background, they had to sign release forms. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just play something on TV without like getting your permission. That's your, that's wild. Yeah. That's my rights. Cause it's my video. That's but, your freedoms. But you know, another weird thing. Mm. 
the person who films your video I is know. the person who owns the video. I know. That's a trippy one. I had a I had a, a one on ridiculousness. I had somebody else film it, and I they used my phone. I go, hey, could you just film this? Mm-hmm. You know who it was? Can I say? It was Ross oh. Smith. Ross Smith, he does videos with his granny. I had him film a video for me on my phone. I said, hold this. It's your idea. My idea, everything. All he he did was hold the phone. Ridiculousness wanted to use it. And they asked who filmed it because I was in it. And I said, oh, they were like, well, then he owns the video. I'm like, no, no, that's my video. That's my idea. That's my phone. That's everything. And he. That's my pop socket. That's my pop socket. Isn't that weird? (laughs) If someone is holding the phone, Mm -hmm. they own the video. It's like, how am I ever going to film a... So, none of the fake fall videos are mine, I guess, because my friends all filmed them. Well, there was another video that someone else had filmed, one of y'all or something. I just said I used a uh, tripod. Yeah. They don't... They don't... Damn, we need selfie sticks. <sighs> yeah. Well, what we need to do is have people ask permission to use your content on their TV show. I know. What's, how do you have the audacity to say at the end of your show, no taking our videos, when they already took mine? Huh! That's, they're gaslighting. Wow. Paige sues Shaq. Oh, my God. Sue Shaq. Oh, and Shaq was farting the other day on TV, and he had a book, Chelsea, and he was airing it out how you do. He, he's a rock fucker. Shaq listens to the podcast, no Ever, doubt. If you're listening right now, go right on Shaq's last post and say you're a rock fucker. Yeah, and then tag the Vower podcast. And the day this drops, I will go look on Shaq's latest post to see if you guys are doing it. And I know you will be. He's like getting in a lawsuit right now with crypto. And now he's going to be like, no, I'm a rock fucker. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good times. All right, honeys. Thank you for calling in. Love ya. Hello. Um, I just got done listening to episode two. Hello. And I'm wondering, two. you all were talking about going to the gyno and how Chelsea said something like she wasn't wet. Her gyno said, well, it's no bigger than a penis when she stuck her clamp in there. Have you ever touched yourself before the doctor comes in to get it, like, your vagina relaxed? It just, like, it it was like a idea in my head whenever I heard that. Um, I was wondering if you would ever, I think you would, try it. And I would love to hear how it goes if you're going to appointments coming up. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you. Hey, honey's dog's barking here. Holy I shit. heard kids screaming. <laughs> Happy. The whole bit. Honeys, no, I've never played with my clit or fingered myself before the doctor got in there. Could you imagine you're sitting in there going, oh, yeah. <laughs> can, you imagine, walk in. <laughs> can you imagine the doctor comes in, puts on the glove, goes for the lube, looks at your pussy, goes, hey, we ain't going to need it. She wet as fuck. <laughs> you're like, I already got it wet for you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you, dude. Oh. oh my gosh, we did talk about going to the gyno episode two. And Paige still hasn't been. Paige? Over hey, a honey. year ago. Oh, it's been since I was 18, I guess, right? Yeah, so, 10 how? years. It's called my tenure. Hey, honeys. Tenure. Well, well, I need to make an appointment ASAP because I'm due. I'm thinking I'm just not going to go anymore. I'm going to just test it out. I'll be the guinea pig for other people let's not do that. they're gonna say pitch that's not good for your cervix and your they're gonna get mad that you even joked about that i know i'm not you guys it's hey don't be joking about that <laughs> no it's all good it's all good but um i'm gonna go one day asap because i'm gonna get my birth control taken out mm-hmm. i think i talked about this a few episodes ago it's not good to have in long long term i'm i think i'm gonna get that taken out yeah you guys get on her Huh? No, honeys, I'm the one going to the gynecologist. Oh, shit. We're going to get you going. We're going to get you going real soon. Have I not been trying to get you go for the last year? How many times have I brought it up? They were going to also put that on the... I held out a little bit because that one show that we were going to film... Uh-huh. That never came out. What? <laughs> on Plip Plip. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, the show on that platform, Plip Plip. <laughs> um... They were going to have me go to the gyno on there. I'll give, okay, yes, that is true. We held out, but honeys, that was a year ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me think of something else. We moved to Nashville. That was a, you know, move. Mm-hmm. But we're here now. So we'll find a gyno. 
I'll go with you. I'm going to rub one out. And just rub one out while you're there. I'll record it for your OF. Does it feel good at all? What? Going to the gyno they- and having them stick a big metal pole in your pussy and crank it open? No, it does not feel good. It fucking hurts. It hurts so bad. I just went. But you got to do it. You know what hurts worse to me than the clamp going up is the long ass Q tip that you. Oh, the dipstick <laughs> is the long ass Q tip with the wire on the tip, and they scrape in your cervix, and I can feel my cervix being scraped. Uh huh. I want to die. And it's like it feels like it's up here under your tits. What? But you gotta do it. Damn. Uh... You gotta do it. I, that's can, that might push it back another year no. from you guys just fucking no. saying that. Whole, it's quick. It's that qu- pushed me no. back. It's quick. You got to do it. Our mom died of cervical cancer. I can't not go check my shit. I, if, I, if I've got something, I want to catch it early so I don't die. She never went, Paige. She never went. Well, how'd she die? And she was cervical cancer. It wasn't she, the meth. No, it was probably a mix of both, but she did die of cervical cancer. I'm sure the meth didn't help. What about the alcohol and stuff? But here's the deal. She was bleeding. She would bleed for years, and then she never went to the doctor. And What's then she, bleeding? Just like spotting and bleeding and like blood and hemorrhaging and shit. She, and the only reason she went to the doctor is because she got arrested for meth, and the and the the prison took her. So the meth saved her. <laughs> well, she died. So she, I mean, no, it, 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 they, they caught it late. They go like, oh, this is, this is cervical cancer. If you would have came years, like years ago, yeah, you, you know, but she just never went and you never know what's brewing. So let's just go get it checked out. Damn. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> We're going to go get checked out. You guys don't worry. You hear the don't clamp be so- and the wire the, that's <laughs> up in your fucking Honey, stomach. Just do this. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Just close your eyes and just hum to yourself. Just hum like a like a the Titanic thing, maybe. I may stay wet for him. Uh, don't say I may stay wet for him. <laughs> Talking about the gynecology doctor. Because if it's gonna slide all up in there, dude, they if- lube they lube everything up. They are lubed up. They'll at first they'll stick their fingers in there. They'll touch your cervix and they'll pop it out. And then they'll stick that thing in there. They'll crank it. They make it quick. They'll crank it up. They'll stick that thing in there. Scrape your cervix and you're done. Do they play crank it, soldier boy? <laughs> <laughs> dude, what if they did? We'll put them in your earbuds. Okay, I guess I'll go then. All right, we're going, and I'm getting my birth control take, taken out because that's not I'm is. Gotta get off that shit. Although I will say, birth control. <laughs> I haven't had a period in five years, and I'm gonna get my periods again. And uh-huh. I'm pissed. I'm not, not happy about that. They suck. So guess who's coming back to to visit? Claudia. Claudia Jenkins. <laughs> You're gonna have clots. I can't wait, dude. Your chair's always gonna look like Kool Aid was spilled and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a diaper. Diaper up. Mm. All right, Chelsea. You're gonna get pregnant. No, I'm oh not. Oh my god! Watch, bitch, bitch, watch. bitch. <laughs> what? Hold up! If you Hold. get that taken out, watch. <clears throat> I'm telling Greg, if you want your wiener near a hole, he's gotta go get fixed. I'm dead serious. Yeah, and I don't care if we have sex once every five years. You're getting fixed. I'm not kidding. Mm-hmm. Or find a pot. Take hole. that back. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. <laughs> But it's something that would happen to you. Buddy Dumpton, that would happen to you. Because you've been freaking on birth control for 10 years. Yeah, that's not good. That's supposed to be a temporary, you know, it's not good to be on birth control that long. You think you're fertile? Man, watch me, watch me, watch me do it one time. Uh Uh-huh. And And it's going to be a little boy that looks just like Greg. Oh, God. With a and, I got, and I got twins. And they come up with skulls. It's gonna Fuck. be bad. That might they're, not be good. they're both just like Greg. You're I, gonna have twin boys. Oh god. And they're gonna look and act just like Greg. No. And have that walk. No. Mama, take us to the racetrack. Oh god. <laughs> You're not ever gonna get to do what you want to do. You no, know, she'll say, "Go get your aunt Doof," or "Go get your aunt fucking." 
That's what you'll be doing. No, I've already talked talk about this. I have not brought it up to Greg, though. He won't care. He'll go do it. He don't care. He don't give a fuck. He'll go get snipped? Yeah. Yeah, I think he would. No problem? He'd probably be like, okay. He wouldn't give a fuck. Should have done this a long time ago. But we didn't know for sure. We didn't want kids. Like, this has kind of been... Like, we're for sure now. We're for sure. So. Yeah, that was B.C. Yeah. B.C. <laughs> Before COVID. Before COVID. <laughs> and. The huh? Before the chins. Before the chins. You already got kids. Yeah, Before the chins. Before the chins. And Tilly. Hi, oh. baby. That's mama's world. Having a kid, dude. Your time. Your <sighs> energy. Oh, gosh. That's that's a lot, man. I All the parents listening, God bless you. I commend you. Shout out to parents. Hey, let's shout out the parents right now. Let's okay? Give them a clap. We talk about hard jobs on this pod. You guys got the hardest job. And even if you think, you know, you're not you're not doing good at what you're doing, if you're doing your best, you're doing good. And I just want to let you guys know that. Oh. You okay? Cuz I can't think about I'm choking on the harvest. Raising a kid? That's got no. That's gotta be hard as fuck. And you're doing great and keep keep up what you're doing. A whole other social security card? When do you even know when you get those for for your kids? Like <laughs> when do you even know when you get a like driver's license for your kids? How do you fly them? <laughs> Going up and, and, and enrolling them in school? When Tina crashed the your trailer <laughs> uh-huh. hold on, let me get down this Okay, chip. get that chip down. I sound like I'm on the smoking commercial. I mean, you got to sign papers. Constantly. And constantly. That's a lot, man. You guys okay. are doing a lot. I think I'm back, but... You're when, back. When Tina crashed your trailer, mm-hmm. we were thinking, how are we going to get home? And because Lola came with us for a little bit of Chelsea's tour, and she's like, I don't know. She said, you don't have to have a ID or anything if you're a kid to fly. No. So you don't have to have nothing? Because no. I swear my little niece had to get a, a passport when she was six months old. No, if you're going out of country, you do. They just hop on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, it's wild. We we commend you guys, so I don't even know what the word commend means, but it sounded proper. Sounds good to me. Okay. Great job. All right. We love you. Thank love you for you. calling in. Thank you. Paige's dad, Alan Jen here. As you know, community guidelines suck, and my daughter's posts keep getting taken down. So would you all do my daughter a favor and follow her on genitals where you and her posts can stay up, if you know what I mean? Wait a minute. She's my daughter. Okay. Unlimited pubes. Every, all these giveaways. Flodulence, P-O-V, A-S-M-R-B-T-S, feet, hmm, and extended podcast entertainment. Join my daughter, Paige, in fun activities like I Spy My Little Brown Eye, where you search for images of her hole. Hmm. Plus, much more. Go to Paige Jen on Instagram. That's Paige Jen, P-A-I-G-E-G-I-N-N. Click the link in her bio to subscribe to her only genitals. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Would you rather question here? Oh, yes. So would you rather be able to have the ability to read and speak every language known to existence or be able to play every instrument that's ever been invented. And let's also add in you be able to be able to do both of those masterfully. So have fun. Thanks for all your hard work. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that, honey. That was really sweet. That's a great question. Ooh, I know off the bat. Mm-hmm. I think instrument. Hundred percent. Instrument would be so cool. You don't think so, Biffy? Mm-mm. I'd choose language. Really? Why? Oh, Beth, I feel like Beth would. I would 100%. Being able to speak to everybody, like that would be, that would be a privilege, being able to speak to 
Yeah, but how often do you do you come across uh, a German who doesn't speak English and you can't you can't talk with? Well, I could go and visit Germany and not yeah. have any. I could travel anywhere and just use be Google able Voice. To be respectful yeah. to Google. people in their homeland for sure. Okay, use you know? Google and Voice. And if it's masterful, I'd, I'd choose that. Okay, just use Duolingo or Babbel. Plus, I, I could get any job in the world. I don't know that man though. Plant just shredding. Uh, uh, electric guitar cello just fucking shredding uh uh what's it called free bird just that the guitar solo oh god i mean come on and a piccolo a yeah. trombone you know a clarinet oh we my. could be playing flutes, flutes. oh For just the fucking symphony just, just going nuts on the flute just think of us on like the big ass yep. things with the strings the and harp. think of the money yeah, you could the make harp. yeah we could start a band oh yeah oh be composers mm-hmm. and at, you would always be just you know around a campfire with an instrument just really setting off a good vibe i love people who can play guitar and just yeah. chill around and sing yeah i choose that so so but damn speaking language would be really cool i mean it would be i'm always thinking i you know what? i need to learn that and then i think i'm gonna learn that and then you don't yeah, and then you don't. So what? We'll, we'll, we'll know how to play the guitar. So. Yeah. All right. Love the question. I love the would you rathers. Great ones. That was a good one. Thank you for calling in. Love yeah. Hey, honeys. A Tang here. Now, I say that because you guys refer to your yummy smells as Tang. Um, and that cracks me up because when I'm feeling extra stinky and need a shower, I refer to myself as A-Tang. My sister refers to herself as K-Swath. So I'm just curious if you guys have funny names that you call each other when you're a little extra fragrant down there. Now, the real reason I called is because I have kind of a funny story. You guys talk about Tinder a lot and some of the wild shit that goes on with that. I had my cousin just share a story with me that I thought was... <laughs> Very interesting, um, and I wanted to share it with you guys and see what you think. She recently went on a date with a guy from Tinder, and um, he broke it off with her after they had been seeing each other because he was finding her pet hair on his clothes and on his things. Now, this friend of mine is, like, animal obsessed, and I feel like he would have to be kind of stupid to not know that (laughs) right from the get-go especially in a small town. Um, Anyway, I just think that's crazy. Would you guys ever break it off with somebody because you find pet hair on your clothes? I would never. I personally am allergic to both cats and dogs, and I still own a cat and a dog. It's called take an allergy pill and get a lint roller, honey. Anyway, what's the craziest thing someone's ever broken it off with you for? That's all I got. Thanks, honeys. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Pet hair there. So the first part of her question, <clears throat> do we have, no, I I honestly just say, damn, bitch, your pussy stank. Yeah. And I do say that. Yes. Well, yeah. Here's the deal. Yeah. Just either the tang or. Yeah. Brett picked us up from the airport a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh. And he picked me and Paige up from the airport when we almost died. And I was wearing, what was I wearing? Oh, just jean shorts that I had been wearing several days. The shorts stank. And listen, I had not showered. I'd traveled all day. I'd wear those shorts multiple times. I mean, straight up, if I had my legs spread, I was getting wafts of tuna, no doubt. I really was. And I'm not even going to lie. I don't sweat ever. This airport in Philadelphia, I don't know what was going on. There was one line through everything. I had drips of sweat coming down my forehead. So imagine Chelsea's pussy. It was horrible. So Brett picks us up. He's sitting in the driver's seat. I get in the front seat. And of course, you have to spread your legs to get in. Oh, yeah. And I put my left leg in, spread my leg, put the other leg in. And I got a waft of, like, baked fish. Like an Alaskan cod, maybe. <laughs> and I didn't say anything. About three seconds later. <laughs> Baked fish. About three seconds later, no joke, Brett 
freak. He was started freaking out. He was like, "My God, you smell like tuna." No, he said salmon. Salmon. He said, "You He's smell like, like salmon." You smell like fresh fucking salmon. <laughs> and I and, and I said, "That is." You said it's not me at I, first. I said it's not me. It's the shorts. <laughs> You said it's not me, it's the shorts. And Chelsea said, if I took off these shorts and you just smelled my pussy, it's still... The pussy was... It was the shorts that really stunk. You said the pussy would still stink, but the shorts just yeah. added. So I closed my legs, and of course the smell went away, and I knew that if I was to open my legs and you were, and you get air down there and... and, and yeah, the waft. The, then he would have smelled... I mean, I, I stunk. Like fresh cod. He smells it, like taco meat all, all the time. time. And all I was smelling like taco meat. Bad. At least Taco it, meat and fish. At, le- <laughs> at least it was a fresh cod and not like a nasty, you know, tuna packet or something. That's been sitting out in the sun for yeah, a week. It was a good, fresh piece of filet, you know? I noticed I've been saying so much to people, sorry if I stink. Like, dude, I just, let's hop in the shower. Yeah. Because people are coming up and taking photos and shit. You would think we would freshen up. Oh, dude, after I get off stage, oh. I'm so sweaty. Before a meet and greet, I always reapply my... Uh, pits. I'll brush my teeth and I'll spray on perfume because I'm like I stink. I'm sweating. Um, second Sound. part the the cat cat hair or dog hair cat cat hair <sighs> cat hair. You it's not as easy as just taking a freaking uh Claritin and lint rolling. Like cat hair goes a long way. Yeah, me. she thinks it's not a big deal. She's like, he's he, bro- he broke up with her because of cat hair. It's not a big deal. Here's my thing. It would definitely bother me. I have a weird thing with dog yeah. and cat. I have a weird thing with dog and cat hair. Now, if I loved the person and it was, you know, I want to spend my life with them. Oh, that's definitely something I could live with. But if we're freshly dating and and we're not vibing super hard... That would be something that would definitely add to my list of cons to be like, okay, I'm cat hair. You know what I mean? Because his stuff's not even moved in yet. Wait until all of his things are filled with cat hair. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. It would bother me. I I think it depends on the situation. Yeah. You definitely just have to have that respect for each other. Like, you know, maybe make some boundaries for where the cat can go. Maybe say, you know, maybe don't have the cat doing twirls in the bed on the pillow if you are going to move in together maybe yeah. talk about it see i don't or don't think, do it i don't think you with a cat with animals you need to go either all in or shut up i don't think you can be like oh the cat can't come here they can't you know that's it cats are gonna go anywhere so you think just be done with they just need to be done with it if he's bothered that bad be done with it or shut up and suck it up and live with it get he, extra lint rollers and he was done with it I probably wouldn't be done with it with someone, but it would bother me. I have a really big thing about dog hair, and I think it stems from my childhood. We've already talked about this. I haven't talked about it on the pod. We grew up in a very nasty home. My grand, We went to go live with my grandma when I was 12. She was a hoarder. She had multiple little dogs. We lived in a trailer house that had holes in the floor. The dogs shit everywhere. Dog hair. I just, I, it was so gross to me that I tie dog hair with gross. I tie it back to that. Now I can live with it, but you know, if I sit on someone's couch and they have like a big dog and who's really here and I, and I get up and it's all over my pay, I will, I'll internally freak out. It's a lot. Maggie, can you tell that story of your friend or no? And Gary and Tilly are hypoallergenic, by the way, so they don't they don't really shed. Gary sheds a little, but they don't shed like a, a dog with, um, they have fur. Yeah, I don't know. Isn't if that like, it's for your allergies, right? Like, yeah. you're not allergic to dogs that are hyperallergenic. No. Right? Some people just have a, have a, yeah, I'm weird about it. it that stems from my childhood of it, it tying it to being in, living in a gross home. So I think it it's it, you know I feel I feel gross when dog hair is on me. I don't I don't love it. Some people don't don't care at all. Oh, I know. I They'll wish be I, wearing black leggings with field. They don't give a shit. And I wish like, I could be that way. Not poking. It pokes. Listen to Gary breathing. Get his mouth up in the. Gary's breathing for Mama. Gary, 
Gary. No, he's done. There he goes. Yeah. Breathe for mama. Where's the water? Lick at his lips for mama. Listen to this. Oh my god. Gary, take a take a glass green to drink of water. No, he's done. He's We're done. trying to get him. Okay. But uh yeah, thanks for calling in. A good two parter there. Did we answer it all? Yeah. We got it, honeys. We got her. Thank you for calling in. Hey, honeys. Um, blind fox fucker here. Uh, yeah, um, just wanted y'all's opinion on something. I guess it'd be like a debate. Uh, I asked the uh, rock fuckers group, the one with the F V C K. Um, as a blind man, is it fucked up for me? To want my significant other to be attracted, just as I want my significant other to be attracted to me. So I guess, like, is am I a fucked up human because I want my significant other to be attractive? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just got called a piece of shit for that, but uh, Aww. yeah, thank y'all and. Love y'all and just keep doing what y'all do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you. I love how he snuck in. <laughs> just got to go off a couple pieces of shit for that. I, I don't think you're a piece of shit. I think you should be with someone that you're attracted to. And what's attractive to you, that's so subjective. That may not be what someone, you know, what someone else thinks is attractive. That's my only worry. What? That. What if somebody, because how's he going to know? Well, he'll. What if somebody thinks, yeah, oh, yeah, I think they're attractive. Maybe he thinks that person is not. But. Or you're, are we talking about the outside audience saying that's an attractive person? I don't know which one he means if it's attractive. If he think, but if you think they're attractive, that's all that matters. You get, That's why I'm saying it's subjective. Yeah. I, I guess think it can go. I think you should be with someone that you're attracted to and that you think is attractive. Now, if you're like, we, I want everyone to think that she's beautiful, that's what I'm saying. Some people may not. Some people may think she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Some people may. It's so subjective. Dude, people call Pamela Anderson ugly. I mean, you could be huh? dating. Yeah, yeah, you could be dating a fucking 10 yeah. to the 10th power and yeah. people could say she ugly as hell that's what i'm saying that's why it only matters to you if you are attracted to her and you think she's attractive that's all that matters you shouldn't be with someone that you're not attracted to i don't agree with that you should be blind or not you can still hear her feel her like you'll he know you will know if someone's attractive the senses so i don't think so at all you're the one caressing the titties or the ass or the penis, whatever you're doing. I mean, exactly. It's all what you feel. And yeah, not everyone's going to think that that person's attractive. And that's okay because it doesn't matter as long as you are. I don't think you're wrong for that. It sounds like you did a little Q&A in the rock fuckers group and some few of them had your ass, which I don't think is... I don't think that's fair. I think you should be with someone that you find attractive. I think it's awesome that he kind of doesn't know the physical, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. then you would have such a better connection, I feel like. Oh, I've always said I've always wanted to fuck a blind guy. Mm-hmm. Think about that. There you go. Do it. Because <laughs> they're using their probably touching you more like it's Mm -hmm. probably so more sensual and passionate Mm -hmm. i've always said that fuck around and find out right and i just might who knows you never know but you think that (laughs) all got quiet in here (laughs) everybody well i was thinking you think their senses are just a lot better yeah they're going to be smelling that Cape Cod they're gonna smell, salmon pussy. They're going to smell that Cape Cod from a mile away. He's going to say, do you have fish in the oven? <laughs> yeah. No, I just bet it's more. I Yeah. It's got to be just romantic. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine fucking a blind guy and he doesn't touch you. Like, no, he's got to be. 
finger in that. He's all up in there. Oh, I bet it's great. I've always thought that. Has his finger on your clit like he's reading Braille. Stop. Huh. What if he's like, huh, your pussy's telling me something. I'm going to make you come. Dude, that would be your sense of humor if you were a blind guy fucking a chick. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm reading something down here. <laughs> and all these crevices. <laughs> says, I'm going to make you come. That would be so hard, the Braille. <clears throat> Have you tried? I mean, I've touched them. I've touched those dots. But I don't know what they mean. I cannot fucking tell, dude. They all just feel like one. Yeah. That's incredible. But that's what I'm saying. It's different for them. Because mm-hmm. cause they, their senses, their other senses are way more heightened. They know the touch is different than ours. The, You know, it's all different. They'll be touching different. Yeah. So, but no, I don't think you're wrong at all. You know, nobody's it, wrong. Nobody's right. No, you you be with someone that's a, a you're attracted to. You know, and your buddies may be like, "Oh man, she's hot," and they may not, but that doesn't matter. No, oh. you're attracted. You know, so yeah, I don't know. You are right, honeys. You're good. Just get a loving <clears throat> human. Yeah, and read Braille on her pussy. Oh yeah, what a cool dude. Thank you for calling in. Great guy. Hey, this is Paige's dad, Alan. And I'm here to tell you about the other daughter's Chelsea's Patreon. Want to see her tits? Because <laughs> I know you do. Well, now you can. For only 16 cents a day, that's right, $5 a month, you can see more of Chelsea and Tammy than you ever thought possible. There's currently over 30 episodes of Tammy Bangs on there, exclusive vlogs that are so raunchy. She couldn't post them anywhere else. I watched them and <clears throat> they gave me a boner. Um, and well, and guess what? Muck bangs too. Only posted on Patreon. And slits only. Exclusive mini viral podcast episodes posted every Friday. Woo! Giveaways and much, much more. She really busts her big ass over <laughs> there on Patreon. So go support the splurge. To subscribe, look up Chelsea Lynn on Patreon. Or you can find the link by going to her Instagram. The link is in the bio. Whoa, yeah. Killed it. You killed it. I did? You killed it. Are you sure? Hey, y'all. Non-binary rock fucker here. I've been having a difficult six months, I would say. I've been going through a breakup since last November. Uh, We were living together, and in the process of all that, it wasn't healthy, and I decided to move into my car. So you can imagine it's just a little difficult, and I was curious if you guys have ever been here or if anyone has any advice. I'm hoping this is just temporary while I sort out all my feelings and what I'm supposed to do with my life. I'm 33. I'm in school full time. I'm a musician. I'm in a band out here in Philly. Um, yeah, I would just love your take on it. I listen to you guys every Tuesday, and it really makes driving around just that better, hearing you guys laugh and getting to hear people be just like super blunt and honest about all kinds of crazy shit. If I can be on that cruise, I will, but I'm also – uh, pretty bad with <laughs> ships and stuff with sea sickness. Anyway, that's too much information. Thank you for everything you do. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah. we got a nice little oh, yeah. He's <clears throat> hitting that. Um, I feel like you would be me if I was in an abusive relationship. I am the type of person that I would rather live in my car than put up with abuse in a relationship. So... Good for you, honeys. First off, that that should not be a negative. Nobody should be like, oh, she's living her... No, you got out of that. That's a huge step. Yes, and it's like, dude, I... And I understand not everybody can do that. Some people have kids, sure. But man, me, if I was single, I would much rather be like, you know what? 
I'll be in my car, motherfucker. Sometimes you got to kick it into survival mode and you'll do whatever right. it takes to right. get through to the, the next couple months or, you know, just whatever oh. you have to do. If you have to save some money by not going out for a while mm-hmm. or this mm-hmm. or that, just do so, whatever. So I've never had been in that situation, lived in my car, but pretty much when we tour, we live in our car. So... We have stopped at a Love's truck stop to shower. We do that on a regular, I mean, we've done that on a regular basis. Um, Love's charges, what, five bucks to shower? Something like that. It's nice. Um, We've slept in the Love's parking lot. Um, There are things, you know, a lot of people who like live in vans have just a gym membership and they shower there. Um, I have a couple of friends who just, got in their van, sold all, all their things, and just that's the way they want to live. They want to just experience more, see more, and not have to fucking pay overpaid rent. Right. That, like, we're all doing. Right. Um, But I would love to just go travel around and live in a car. Or I see people on TikTok doing it all the time. Oh, yeah, they're just vlogging or blogging. and Some people do it with dogs. One girl does it with a big-ass dog. Dang. Dang. I'd be scared a little. Not if you have a big dog, though, but yeah. <clears throat> for sure. But she's doing it. Dude, honeys, good for you for getting out of that situation. That's all I'm going to say. And yeah, you're probably feeling a little like, oh, I'm living in my car. But guess what? You'll get out of this situation as well. I bet you're feeling better. Right. Overall. Not, <laughs> not dealing with that shit. in a car. Right. But keep on, keep on banging, honeys. Maybe we'll hear you on the radio one day. Love ya. Yeah, I want to hear her songs. Love you. This is the last call. Let's call! Hey, honeys. What's up? How's it going? What's up? Uh, I wanted to call in to just share something, see if y'all have experienced this before. Uh, There was just a weird anecdote of my life. Uh, There was one day I was... I think laying in bed about to go to sleep, you know, and I, you know, I, I, I'm a, I got substantial size, you know what I mean? I'm a big thigh kind of gal. And you know, if you've got big thighs, that you like to put your hands in between your thighs, keep them nice and warm. That's what I was doing. I was on my phone looking at TikToks, probably just bullshitting. And I put my hand between my thighs and I feel something weird, you know, right around my coin purse. I feel some sort of weird, um, you know, texture. And, you know, I look, and I damn near thought I sat in something, and it it was an egg. It wasn't hard like an egg, but you know how inside, when you get your period, you know, you, you drop an egg. And it was not my period, but I, this weird thing was right around my coin purse, and I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck is this? And I do some Googling, and it said that I dropped an egg because apparently I was ovulating. And that's what that was. And I was like, oh, my God. And I even tried looking up pictures of eggs to see if, like, to compare it to what I'm looking at in my hand. And um, there were no pictures online. And I've never heard of no one talking about this, but I, I Google it. WebMD is telling me that it's very common that when women ovulate, you know, they're very fertile, which I've never had my fertility tested, but I do have wide childbirth and hips, so I wouldn't be shocked at that you know, that it's not uncommon to drop eggs, you know, when you're ovulating. And I think that's what happened is I dropped an egg. And, uh, yeah, it was a weird experience. Um, it, a little bit of, a little bit of part of me felt cool, you know, cause it's like, I don't take care of my body. You know, I eat chips, I don't jog, you know, I, I drink Coke, right. But it's kind of cool to know that even when I'm not taking care of my body, it's just kind of automatically doing these, these womanly fertile things. It, it felt kind of cool to me. It also felt very strange. Um, I've never told anyone outside of this voicemail right here that this happened to me. Um, I just kind of want to know, has this ever happened to y'all? Uh, I couldn't find no pictures of, of an egg on Google. So I feel like people aren't sharing it, but it's happening. Hell, it happened to me, and I'm not that exceptional. Um, so, yeah, let me know. How do you feel like you would react to it? The texture, you know, is not something I can easily explain. It was 
it was intact yet gooey. You know, I know uh, uh, Paige talks a lot about her blood clots. It's a oh, it cut her off. <laughs> it cut her off. Cut her off. Dude, that was perfect for you. Can I just say I'm obsessed with her first off? The fact that she goes, and listen, I felt cool. <laughs> Dude, she's a damn chicken. <sighs> Am I tripping or are our eggs microscopic? I've never dropped an egg. I thought that they were like so tiny because the sperm swims into them. Our eggs are microscopic. Am I wrong here? She said she laid an egg. I've never heard of that in my life. Beth, can you chime in on this? I'm literally trying to Google right now. We need answers. She, uh, is she saying an egg came uh, out of her like a clot? She, in, mm-hmm. in a sizable. And she picked it up. Egg. You can't pick up our eggs. Maybe it was like dried up cum and it just kept oh accumulating. Because they're lit. Our egg, you can't hold our eggs, right? No. I've never seen a picture. I don't. And know. she's saying she googled it twice and nothing came up. I, cause, cause I want to say maybe that. I don't know, man. Okay, I just uh, googled what is the size uh, of an egg, and it says that the female egg is bigger than you think. Um, it is one hundred microns in diameter. I have no fucking idea how big. What that type is. of egg are we talking about? Are you talking about the dozen of eggs? Or are you talking about? <laughs> The kind inside of women, yes. What's in that called? Uterus. Um, let me try to find a picture. Is it called eggs? Yeah, they're called eggs. Is there a scientific name? Uh, I guess I could look. Kind of forgot. Big. Women have them taken out and fr- and frozen and all that, and they're like in these tiny little tubes, and yeah. you can't see them. Not, not really. I mean, can you see cum, or is it? You can only see it in a microscope, huh, swimming around. The sperm? Yeah. Probably under a microscope. It says, the f- okay, is a human egg visible to the eye? The female egg cell is bigger than you think. Most cells aren't visible to the naked eye. You need a microscope to see them. The human egg cell is an exception. It's actually the biggest cell in the body and can be seen, seen without a microscope. Maybe she dropped that. That is female size egg, females egg chart. That is so weird, dude. I wonder what color it was. I mean, is this real? Seems white. Like she said, gooey. She had an egg fall out. Beth. Damn. Egg. What does she mean? I also can't find any pictures of in. What- In a fertility cycle, the ideal size is between 18 and 22 millimeters in diameter. Once it reaches this size, it means estrogen levels are rising and the uterine lining has thickened. So 18 millimeters. How big is 18 millimeters? I think I've had some of that goo stuff. What? But I've never, it's never been an egg-shaped form. 18 millimeters. That's like a seventh of an inch. What? I don't know, man. I feel like I'm tripping right if now. If anybody has had an egg fall out or they laid an egg or they whatever, please have, call in or comment you've had an egg. Did it have a yolk? That's what I'm thinking <laughs> for real. I wonder if she took a picture. Was because it, if there's no yolk, dude, that's just old cum. I've had that. Was it goo? Was it? She said gooey. Could it just been discharge, a clot? Was it formed like an egg? Was it? She said intact. Flubber. It was like flubber. (sighs) That's wild. And if you're the only person to have an egg drop, yeah, I would feel cool too. Egg drop soup. (laughs) Egg drop soup. What if that's how they made it? Stop. It does kind of smell like that. Oh. oh, gosh, look at egg drop soup, dude. Oh, I'll never be able to eat egg drop soup again. Dude, that's wild. That's wild. I would like to know more about this. Yeah. Because I'm flabbergasted right now. I know, like if you put it in a little incubation station, would it become a human? Right. Well, it's got no sperm in it. There was some sperm, yeah. Very interesting. 
Loved the collar. One more question. How are they getting the comb and the egg together? What do they do? The egg, the, the sperm swims up to the egg. What do you mean? Okay, they just put them in a little cage together? Oh, to like to... Infertile. Infertile to outside of the... I think so. I mean, they inject it. They inject it into the egg. Yeah. It's a whole scientific thing. They're probably using beakers and stuff. Little needles. Beakers. Beakers. God. When I was a kid... Even, I know. Even in high school, I loved all of the science stuff. The, I, the mm-hmm. beakers, little test tubes. The like, Bunsen burners. The oh, Bunsen yeah. burners. The Bunsen burners. Uh-huh. Big deal. The microscopes, the everything. To, to have the fire lit under the Bunsen burner in the classroom was it. You know what I want to get for the house? One of those projectors that our teachers used to write on that mm-hmm. project on the wall. Yeah. I wanted to grow up and get one of those so bad. Get one. Dude, that's what I said for my little book nook. I want just a old projector playing 90s um music videos in there and i want it and i just want to ride on it all day uh you're gonna be like i'm down here in the oh god at the projector writing just writing stuff oh there was nothing better besides it did suck being left-handed because i would write on the board and then it would all be on my hand I'm Dude, smear. Do y'all remember the very few times your teacher would let you write on that? I oh. felt like I was walking on clouds. Mm-hmm. I loved freehanding on there. We got to get one. I hated going up if you had to do a math question or something. Because I didn't know. I don't know. I just drew stuff. Just drew numbers. In free time? Yeah. How fun was that? think, though, you wouldn't want all those little grimy kids touching your nice-ass new markers. Oh, God. Ruining the tips. Pushing them in. Yeah. Listen, we got to we gotta look more into this egg falling debacle. Um, p- please, let us know if you've dropped eggs or, or if we're tripping or what. Would love to know that. Um, mm-hmm. Also, we have been doing slits only every week on my Patreon and Pages OF. It drops every Friday. Listen, if you guys aren't sick and tired of us and you want more viral podcast, we drop an episode of slits only every Friday. And we try to do something different each time. We recently launched um, Positive Talks and it seems to be a cult favorite. That's all we're going to say. So if you do not know what we're talking about and you want to find out what Positive Talks is. You have a couple clicks. All you got to do is do a couple clicks and hop what? on yeah. our subscriptions and you'll find out what that is. So Mine is under only genitals. Only genitals. So in the link tree. So just do that. Mine's in the link tree in my bio on, on Instagram. Click on that. And go to the Viral Podcast Instagram and make sure to keep a lookout for those monthly merch drops. Monthly merch, merch drops. You get a new t-shirt every month. They're limited. And once they're gone, they gone. So hop on it, okay? Hop on it. And is that really the last call? That's it. Yeah. Okay, well, everybody out there, let us know about the eggs. And let us know about anything else you have yes, to tell us. Yes. Our number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And And fuck what everybody else thinks. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Alexa, fan on.